Welcome back everybody. So we are on week three today. So congratulations for making it to week three. So let's just get started with a little bit of a warm up. This is just a mini warm up. So please do a proper five minute warm up before to make sure your muscles are ready for some strength training, especially since this is a leg day. So let's just bring our arms overhead, taking a nice deep breath in and breathing out. Let's do that one more time. Big stretch here, really stretching the arms and bringing them back down again. Let's just bring the shoulders back. So today we're working legs, shoulders, triceps, and a little bit of abs as well, doing some core work. Let's just bring the arms back and forth. So you can do a cardio workout before, as you know, or a five minute warm up, making sure that those legs are good and ready. One more time. Excellent. Okay, let's do some high knees, so bringing the knee up. So just taking your time here, stretching that leg a little bit at the same time. Excellent. And then let's just open up the hips a little bit. So just bringing the leg around and one more time. And let's go to the other side. And one more. Excellent. And let's just bring the one leg up and then stretch it back and again, going forward and back one more time. And then switching to the other leg. And then last one. Excellent. Okay, so let's get started. So we are going to start with a squat, but we're adding in another exercise with it. So you'll need to have a dumbbell. Uh, it can be, maybe start with a light dumbbell. We're going to do 12 repetitions just so you can um, gauge what weight to use, knowing that you'll be doing it 12 times. So I'm going to show you first, and actually I'll show you first and then I'll have you do one uh, trial. Uh, and then we'll do the actual 12 repetitions, just because I want you to find the right weight that works for you. So you might not know what weight to use, so let's just try it out. So grabbing a weight. I'm gonna show you first, so we're squatting down, coming up, bringing the weight to the shoulders, pressing overhead. Now here you keep your elbows close to your body. Okay, elbows close to your head, going down, pressing up, feeling that in the triceps, bringing it back to the chest. Okay, so let's do that again. So keep the weight here actually, having the feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, squatting down, coming up, pressing through those heels, pressing overhead, bringing the weight back, elbows close to the head, pressing up, back in front, okay? So if that weight that you just tried wasn't good, choose a lighter weight or a heavier weight, depending on what you think you need to be able to do it 12 times. So of course you can do this with the chair as well if you don't feel safe doing it, um, doing the squats. Then do the sit the stands. And uh, you could also choose to do the portion where we put the weight over the head as you're seated. So lots of options here to make it work for you. Use a light weight if you're a little bit nervous about doing it as well and uh, finding what is safe for you. Okay, are we ready? So you have that weight. Let's start with the squat. So keeping the weight here, squatting down, pressing up through the heels, squeeze those glutes, hold that glute squeeze, arm, arms above, keeping the elbows close to the body, pressing that weight up, your glutes are still squeezed, bringing that weight back down, relax the glutes, that's one. Ready, let's go down. Squat, pressing those hips back, pressing that weight up, going into that tricep press, lifting that weight up back to the chest. That's two. Going down, pressing up, back, press up, and down. That's three. Pressing up, back, and to the chest, four. Press up, and five. Pressing up, back, up, and down. That's six. I'm just gonna turn so you can see, making sure you're pressing those glutes back, pressing up, and up. I think that's seven. Going down, pressing up, 
down, up, and eight. Back, this is nine. Going back, pressing up, and 10. We've got two more if you can. If, you're, if you find that that's enough, then just stop there. For those who can, we'll do two more. Pressing up, hands back. Keep those elbows close to the head. And we've got one more. Going up, squeezing those glutes. Hands back, keeping the elbows close. And back to the chest and relax. Excellent, so a lot going on there trying to remember the glute squeeze as well, which I did forget some of the times for myself, so hopefully you remembered. But we'll, we're going to do that exercise two more times, so you're gonna have lots of opportunities to get better at it. So let's put that heavy weight down or whatever weight you used. If you used a light weight, you can hold on to just one dumbbell. So let's just take a nice deep breath in and breathing out. Okay, ready? We are doing an ab twist. So here you can use a weight or not. Maybe try it for the first time without a weight. And then you can always pick it up, have it close by. You can always pick it up if you want during the exercise. Having the feet shoulder width apart. If you're seated in the chair, you're doing exactly the same thing. Having the hands together or the weight, you're holding onto the weight, whatever you choose. You're just twisting to the side, thinking about your abs here, keeping them tight, and then going to the other side. So don't worry too much about your breathing. You're just, just as long as you continue to breathe, you're focusing on keeping the arms up and just twisting and keeping those abs tight. And just continuing with that movement. Now the whole time you're really focusing on flexing the abdominals. Now, if you're using weight, obviously it's gonna be harder. So if you feel like what you're doing right now is too easy without a weight, grab a weight, you're gonna challenge yourself more. So we're just going slowly here. So really focusing on those abs. We're gonna do five more in each direction. quite tough when you're using a weight. So just whatever you're doing, think about those abs working. And I believe we have two more in each direction. And last one. And if you have the weight in front, relax that, or bring the weight down, relax your arms. Let's just bring the shoulders back a little bit. And one more. And then grabbing on to that weight again. So we're doing the same exercise that we did the first one. So the squat, overhead, and um, tricep press. So now that you've done it once, you uh, likely know what weight is gonna work best for you. So grab that weight. Okay, feet are shoulder width apart. Are you ready? So make sure you're pressing uh, your hips back doing it 12 times and let's go. So press, oh, let's have the weight here first. Okay, so start with the weight here. Press your hips back, coming up, overhead, tricep press, keep those elbows close, squeeze the glutes. Back to the chest, relax the glute squeeze, going down. Squeeze those glutes, overhead. Relax the glute squeeze, going down, pressing up. This is three. Elbows close. And back down. Going down. Squeeze those glutes. Hands going down. Up. And back to the chest. This is five. Squeeze the glutes. Pressing up. Elbows close. And again. Pressing up. Weight back. And down, squeeze those glutes. I believe this is eight. Back to the chest, relax the glutes. Going down, nine. 
and going down. 10. Eleven, squeeze those glutes, back, elbows close, and down. Last one, squeeze the glutes, overhead, elbows close, going down, press, back to the chest, and relax. Okay, you'll probably notice your breathing is uh, a little bit labored there. <laughs> it's amazing how much those squats make that happen. So let's just take a nice deep breath in and breathing out. Let's just move the legs around a little bit, allowing our heart rate to come back down. Nice deep breaths here. Okay, next one we're doing is a lateral raise. So we're working the shoulders again, finding a nice light weight because you don't need a lot for shoulders for this exercise. So two dumbbells and um, just starting here, going out to the side and coming down. Okay, so grab that weight. Having the feet shoulder width apart, a little bit wider if you'd like. Weights are here, ready, bringing that weight up, breathing out, and slowly, very slowly coming back down, controlling that. Again, up and down. Breathing out and down and up, four and down. Five, so you're only going to about shoulder height. Six. Going up to 12 here. Seven. So keeping your knees loose. Eight. Nine. Got three more. 10. 11, last one, breathe out, and slowly, as slowly as you can, bring that weight back down, control, and all the way down, excellent. Let's just rotate those shoulders back, and one more, excellent. Okay, putting that weight down, we're doing one more set of these squats. Uh, which is also challenging the shoulders and the triceps. And then we are onto our plank. And that's it for today. Okay, so getting into position. Feet are as wide or as narrow as you'd like to have them. That's up to you. Let's start with the weight here. Let's go back. Press that weight overhead. Drop the hands behind, keeping the elbows in. And squeeze those glutes. <laughs> Lifting up, back to the chest going down, pressing, squeeze the glutes, and down, three, four, squeeze the glutes, five, Six, squeeze those glutes. Seven. Eight, squeeze the glutes. Nine. Going down. 10, squeeze those glutes. Two more, if you can. 11. Last one. Press overhead, squeeze those glutes. Down, up, back to the chest, and breathe. Good one, excellent. So that's a tough exercise. Good job for managing however many you did, whether that was three or 12 or whatever. You tried, you did it, and uh, that's all that matters. We're just starting out, this is week number three. We are onto our plank. Take some nice deep breaths. Okay. 
And when you're ready, you're gonna go to the wall if you wanna do the wall plank or otherwise you're on the floor with me. We are going to do the plank on our forearms. If you want, you can do it on your arms. It's up to you, whatever you feel more comfortable with. So having your arms straight or on the forearms. So let's get onto the floor. Getting into position. I will hopefully count uh, appropriately with these seconds. Okay, let's get into position now and we'll get started right away because I know sometimes everyone's in the position and I haven't started counting. Watching your glutes and let's go. One, two, when I say watch your glutes, I mean have them try and have them level with the rest of your body. I would say it's about five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40. Bring your knees down, coming up out of that plank. Taking a nice deep breath in and big breath out. Excellent, and that is it for today. So let's stand up. We are going to do some stretches and uh, I will attach some videos at the end as well. I had someone mention it, but I always do attach videos at the end of the, of the workout. So you'll have some cardio workouts to choose from if you feel like doing cardio now and otherwise some stretching routines as well. So just to extend the workout and uh, if you want a little bit more. So let's just, just start with the legs. So we'll bring one leg up. As you know, if you wanna make it a little bit easier, you can rest the one foot on the chair if you can't get your foot up all the way. So pulling that foot back enough that you feel that stretch in your quad. Focusing on some nice deep breaths. And let's switch to the other side. So I hope by now you're noticing a difference already in your leg strength. It doesn't take a lot. I mean, these workouts are fairly short, but uh, it's amazing how how much faster they can uh, get strong in a short period of time if you're doing it consistently. So pulling that foot back enough that you feel a really good stretch, trying to keep your knees fairly close together. And let's do our calf stretch. So bringing one foot forward, bringing the toes up. And let's switch to the other side. And then let's just um, bring one foot forward, one foot back, pressing into that back heel to feel that stretch. Or you can press against a wall and really push back through this leg. So if the wall is there, this is how you're doing it. You can absolutely definitely do uh, the stretches from the chair as well if you prefer to use the chair. And let's switch sides. And let's go into a shoulder stretch as well. Since we're in this position, let's just have one arm forward, crossing that arm in front and stretching out that front shoulder. And coming out of that leg stretch, switching arms so one arm goes in front, crossing it in front. Taking a nice deep breath in and breathing out. And let's bring one arm overhead, dropping the hand behind to stretch out the triceps and pressing that elbow back. And then we've got the other side and then you're done.
Let's bring that arm down, other side. So arm goes up, uh, hand goes back, and pressing that elbow back. If you find that too difficult, you can also just bring your hand in front and do it this way. Just be gentle whenever you're pressing that elbow. Taking one last night, nice deep breath, and breathing out. And then just swinging the arms back and forth. So good job on legs, shoulders, triceps, and abs today. So a lot of people, or some people are saying um, about adding in some ab uh, workouts. So when we're doing the plank, that is doing abs. We're doing all of our, you know, we're doing everything, our, our abs, our lower back, it's strengthening our core. So I will add in some ab exercises, but every day we are getting in that core workout. So that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you tomorrow. Have a great day, everyone. Bye for now.